The city is partnering with multiple organizations to make this happen, but most of the money to create these apartments is generated locally. Seattle has a growing population, and while it seems like the city has a lot of apartments, demand runs ahead of supply, so rents are high. The cheapest apartments often start around $1,500 a month. So the yellow and green house and the yeah, white all, and all the gray house. Yeah, all these three house. will come down, yeah. Reverend Dr. Robert Jeffrey is pastor of the New Hope Missionary Baptist Church, the church turning multiple lots into the New Hope multi-family apartments, nearly 90 units, and many could be occupied by people who were priced out of this very central district neighborhood over the more than three decades Reverend Jeffrey has been here. Well, you had to go to Tacoma, Renton, and, and further out, yeah. But how do we also ensure that there is affordable housing in every part of our city? So having it at Green Lake, having it in Ballard, having that accessible. With just weeks to go in her term as Seattle's mayor, Jeffrey's church becomes the backdrop for a $100 million announcement for more than a thousand new apartments, some in new buildings, some in buildings that have been rapidly acquired. It's truly an honor. One organization that's been deeply involved is the Chief Seattle Club, which operates apartments focused on Native Americans. I'm a Native American elder. One resident is Arlene Hopkins. I'm thankful for our advocates for finding us a home so we can have a roof over our heads. And too often, having a roof is something most of us simply take for granted. These buildings now should leverage their positions to help these people uh, uh, come back to where they want to live, close to their jobs and close to the community that they love. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. So what constitutes an affordable rent? Well, for somebody making a little over $24,000 a year in Seattle, they could rent an apartment, a pretty basic one, for about $600 to $650 a month. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.